My next recipe is a rich chocolate roulade with a flavour I've loved since I was a boy. Do you remember when peppermint really packed a punch? I remember in school, in the classroom, when someone was sucking on a mint in the class, the teacher used to go mad and say, if you're going to bring in sweets, bring enough for the rest of the class, and rightfully so. I want to make a pudding that's full of the best peppermint flavour possible. This is Summerdown Farm in Hampshire, where resident mint expert Ian Margots grows an old British peppermint crop called Black Mitcham. I absolutely love this stuff. I've worked with it since we have virtually nothing, and now we've got 100 acres, and, I, and you have to cherish this crop. You really have to cherish it to keep it in the fine order that it's in to look after it. Today, Ian is getting ready to harvest his crop. This peppermint is in, is in perfect condition uh, for a harvest. They're being laid out now as we are now with the mower going up and down the field. Be here for a couple of days, and then we will take it back to our distillery where we will distill it. The oil we're after in the peppermint plant is actually in the leaf. And in sunny weather, that just makes the oil rise to the surface, so it makes it much easier to distill. Ian grows and distills the peppermint oil under the watchful eye of Sir Michael Coleman, whose name you might recognise. It was Sir Michael's family who first set up Coleman's mustard over 100 years ago. Now he has turned his attention to perfecting peppermint after being inspired by Ian. He came back from a trip to um, America, uh, and in his pocket he had a bag of sweets that had been made uh, with the quality American oil. And I tasted it, and I suddenly said, wow, uh, this has got a characteristic which reminds me of humbugs when I was a boy. Uh, and I recognized that that was what peppermint used to be like. And I realized that we were onto a really good thing, and I was determined we were going to share that around and show people what a really good pure oil of peppermint tasted like. The sweets Ian brought back were made with American peppermint oil, but actually produced using a British peppermint plant called Black Mitcham. This was popular back in the early 1900s and distilled here until the late 1940s. It's this peppermint that Sir Michael has reintroduced to the UK and now grows to produce his own peppermint oil. It's got a very a lingering flavour in the mouth and it gives a lovely cooling sensation. It's the menthol content and menthol is a really uh, wonderful uh, sensation if it's a quality product. Ian is responsible for distilling Sir Michael's peppermint to get the best possible flavour. What I'm doing here now, I'm just adjusting the steam pressure. Um, I always compare this to bringing uh, vegetables to the boil. So I've switched the steam on. I switch it on slowly so I don't get any uh, kickbacks. And now I've just turned the steam on and I'll bring it up to a certain pressure just so it gets the tub hot. And then when it's hot, I'll turn it down to simmer. And that's when we're cooking peppermint and we'll see peppermint coming out of the condenser. For me, this is the thrill, to end up with the peppermint oil in your hand. That's what the culmination of the whole year's work's been. The peppermint oil that is produced is going to be used in sweets and teas, and I cannot wait to use it in my next dish. So, Michael, Ian, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you. Um, is, this the, is this the real peppermint? We, we model what we grow today on the old-fashioned, uh, traditional, uh, quality, pure mint that used to be grown in this country. This is the real peppermint. This is the real black mission peppermint. And if you get hold of a leaf there, uh, Paul, and rub it between your fingers and thumb, and you'll feel just and smell just how intense that is. Oh, wow, yeah. That is something you, you, know, you, you can't get anywhere Absolutely. else. It's not like the normal uh, spearmint that everybody knows as garden mint, yeah. uh, which is a totally different smell. How do you use that peppermint oil yourself? I mean, I've got my wife trained. She really likes peppermint tea. And that, ah. That's the big thing we use it for. Now, I'm going to use this peppermint in a roulade. And the combination I'm using is chocolate and peppermint in a flourless roulade using dark chocolate. I'm going to use Sir Michael's peppermint oil mixed in cream. It not only tastes great, it's going to look pretty good too. 
Now, to start with, you need to whisk up your eggs. Now, what I'm looking for is to take this to stiff peak. Now, that's pretty much there at the moment. The thing you do to test it is to hold it above your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? There you go. <laughs> now, that's faith. That's faith right there. Yeah. OK. Now, what I'm going to do here is I've got egg yolks. Lots of sugar goes straight in there. I'm going to add that to the egg yolks. Beat together the egg yolks and cast the sugar until pale. Then add some good quality cocoa powder before pouring in melted dark chocolate. This mix is the base of my roulade. Don't worry if it thickens, this is quite normal. Now, what I'm going to do is add a scoopful of this meringue to this chocolate mixture to slacken it off a little bit. So I'll take some of this, take about a third, drop it in there. Now, what I'm going to do is loosen off this mixture because it's quite dense. You can beat this together at this stage because you're just slackening down the mix. You're introducing this chocolate flavour to the meringue. Get right round the sides. Now, that's perfect now to be added to the rest of the meringue. The problem is, if you were to add all that meringue in there, the air that you've got in there, the lightness that you've got in there, it would just sink all the way down with the chocolate. So now you've slackened that off, you can add a little bit more of the meringue to this. And this is where you're going to carefully fold. So we're going to go around the outside of the bowl, cut through the middle. So you gently fold this together. It takes a while, but don't try and rush it. You've got lovely light meringue there. My daughter makes a wonderful chocolate mousse. I oh, may yeah. get her to, to watch what you do. <laughs> does she use your peppermint oil as well? Yes, of course she does. <laughs> <laughs> Next, pour the mixture into a lined tin, making sure you spread it out evenly, tipping the tin up if you need to. So what you've got there is a beautiful base. That's your roulade base. Now, that goes into an oven at 160 fan for about 15 to 20 minutes. And you'll see it go slightly crispy on the top, and you'll see it pulling away from the sides. Now, I'm going to pop that straight in the oven. So what I want to do now is prepare the, the filling for it as well. Now, the peppermint oil, I'm going to use literally about three drops, very carefully. One, two, three, four. Now, that's probably going to be that's quite good. intense. That'll be, That'll be nice. For the buttercream filling, I'm whisking together icing sugar and butter until light and creamy then slowly adding the milk, which has got peppermint oil already in it. This is the way of enabling it to go in all the buttercream. Oh, the smell. The smell of peppermint. Now, the buttercream in there is great, and it's fine, and I could probably go in the roulade as it is, but the addition of the dark chocolate as well brings it to another level. Stir that a little bit into the mixture. So what you've got is dark chocolate. You've got a peppermint buttercream in there as well. Now that is going to go beautifully inside the roulade. Take some baking parchment and give it a good dusting of icing sugar. Flip out your cake and peel off the paper. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> So there we have our roulade base, onto which I'm going to put the peppermint buttercream. OK, uh, there's, a, there's a heady mix going on here between chocolate and peppermint that you can't smell, so you're going to have to make it. Now spread the buttercream over the cake, making sure you get right to the edges and it's nice and even. Now I'm going to roll this up, and this is the tricky bit. Now, the way to do it... You can get a palette knife or a knife and just what we call break its back. So you make a ridge about half inch in and just break it all the way down so it's loose. Then 
fold that first bit up, and that will be the inside. Then, basically, you roll it over, release it all the way back. Now, you can see it's beginning to crack. That's absolutely fine. And again, nice and tight. Try and keep it as tight as you possibly can with the paper. Look at that. The final roll comes over. Wow. Oh, wow. And then you release the paper totally. And there you have your basic roulade. Place it on there. And for me, a little drizzle more of icing sugar. Mm. A work of art. I hope this does justice to your peppermint oil. Chocolate and peppermint roulade. My roulade is delicious on its own, but even better when served with fresh strawberries or even a raspberry coulis. We can't eat at the moment. We'll have to eat it a little bit later. Well, we, we'll look forward to it in anticipation. <laughs> <laughs>